Cheers for Whiskey Friday! This is where you go, we get whiskeys from people that are hard to find and can't probably, you can't get them. And so we drink them and give look, look, our first impressions. No, this is what I want you to do. I want you to like, <sighs> try. No, I was trying. Like, dig deep, take a moment, take a breath, center yourself. See? Welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday, where we review whiskeys sent into us by magnificent bastards. Whiskeys that may or may not be rare for you, but are less likely to be widely distributed in your area. And so, if, if, you, can't, if you can get it, you're welcome for the review. I have one question. And thanks to the magnificent bastard that sent it. One question. Yeah. Are you trying Did to? Did it hurt when I fell from heaven? Yes. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Here is Ooh. Skip Rock Distillers, a bottle from Titan of Whiskey, William Shepard. Daniel, in the distance, do you hear that? I hear it. Could it be? It could be. Maybe? Possibly. <laughs> Magnificent bastards. This is Skip Rock Distillers Rye Whiskey, 43% from, how would you pronounce that? Snohomish. 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 Snohomish, Washington. Snohomish, Washington. Washington. <laughs> yeah, it's just north of Seattle, close to the coastline and all the islands. You know what I'm getting? Uh, peanut dust and a sweetened herbal tea. Yeah. That end of tasting. We did it. <laughs> I mean, that's that's literally it. That's like just it's peanuts and a slight herb note. And then you got that sweetness in there. And um, what is carrying? Wow. What is carrying the sweetness? What's the source of the sweetness? I don't think it's just straight up, straight up sugar. No, it's a uh, fruit. It's um, it's a, uh, it's melon. Oh, uh, like a melon type. Of yeah. Sweetness. This is an interesting nose. Yeah, it's definitely rye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're it, the, digging deep for those melon the herb, like, Let me say this. The herbal quality mm. is a dead giveaway. Like, yeah, rye. Yeah. But it has interesting things. Um, oh, try that. Tickling the edges. You might like this. This has like a, like a slight latte level coffee note. Like a creamy latte. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, coffee, and it's almost like an almondy nuttiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. It's like, um, like that... Almond liqueur bread uh, that you get from uh, okay. like you know Trader Joe's and yeah. stuff. Yeah. By the way, I had like um, uh, this is neither here nor there. Speaking of liqueurs, remind me to pour you a little bit of this. It's like a coffee, like a black coffee liqueur. Mm. It's gonna be very sweet. I don't okay. think you're gonna like the sweetness, but the coffee flavor. Right, anyways. Well, what if you poured it over coffee? Uh, over well, a vanilla I'm, ice cream. I'm saying that, but we'll, we'll try. Anyway. Uh, and then once you go back, actually after you get it in you. Um, then like some nice matured, almost an antique oakiness. Mm -hmm. It's very dry at the end. It's got a lingering dryness to it. And the lingering taste is salt peanut. I like Which it. makes me think, salt peanut, salt peanut. Salt peanut, salt peanut. I like you, this. You couldn't tell me who that band is, could you? It's like... It's the Pointer Sisters. Salt peanut, salt peanut. <laughs> I've got the final record of that. 
Do you want to try this anymore? <laughs> it's very old. It's, it's a very old vinyl record. It's just, it's just it's probably before my dad was born. It's just like we understand, you know, we're not neither one of us are social media animals, right? Mm -hmm. And at least I, from a distance, arm's length, I understand how it works, and occasionally we'll do something in that direction just because that's the name of the game. You though. It's what? like somebody walked into a nursing home, <laughs> dusted off some invalid, and said, all right, go be a YouTuber and say things. <laughs> thought peanut, thought peanut. What the f <laughs> Hang on. Play Salt Peanut by the Pointer Sisters. <laughs> it didn't find it. It wasn't even on Apple Music. Yeah. <laughs> no, Hang even, on. Even the internet doesn't go back that Salt far. Salt Peanut Pointer Sisters. <laughs> this is, I'm going to prove to you how a great song this is. This is first impressions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, that's good. Well, I mean, you're half right. Philistines. <laughs> First impression. Okay. What's the next whiskey? This one is Indiana whiskey. And I mean that literally. You can look at it right there on the bottle. <laughs> Wait, can we call a whiskey? I really? Can we call it a whiskey? Texas whiskey. It's already been done. It's called TX, who stole the illegal Texan moniker. Oh. Uh, yeah. um, all right, so this is specifically, I like this. Look at this. Just, Just whiskey. whiskey. Bourbon whiskey. <laughs> On the back, you can... It's like, the name's whiskey. What's just? The and name's whiskey. Cause. Bourbon whiskey. Yeah, you uh, know. Now, it being in Indiana, you know I have to ask the question. No, it's, it's made, they made it, evidently. Not sourced from What NGP. is this? No. Yeah, this is a gift from Kyle Kubiak. You could read that? Yeah. Kyle Kubiak, you magnificent. Bastard. <laughs> I don't Let's know. see what his note was. Yeah, this is handwritten. Why? Because it's old timey. That's why I intended to send this a while ago. But Rona. Oops, sorry. It's one of my favorite bourbons. He's giving us one of his favorite bourbons. Nice. Oh, it's his hometown distillery. Oh, you read it from here, you douche. That's how you knew Kubiak. No, no, Kubiak. You can't. You can't read that. No, not the handwriting. Oh, that. Okay. All right. The printed version. And then he has it phonetically. Good on you. Thank you. Eighty percent corn, ten percent barley, ten percent wheat. So this is a wheat. Wait, don't cap it. We need to pour it. What are you doing? Uh, you're the one that does the Dude. pouring. I was getting it rest <laughs> ready for you. I'm reading ahead. Okay. Ah. I had to break the seal. Your little fingers can't. Ah. See, you could barely do it. Ah. I, after I loosened it, you could still oh, barely do it. I spilled on your note, Kyle. Sorry. Uh, and it comes from Indiana, just not uh, not just the grain. Everything was made in Indiana. Stills. Oh. Everything. That's always fun. Whenever a distillery. They want to go like super, super, yeah, it's nice, nice. Super, super local, like the grain, the equipment, obviously the staff, is every single part of the process. Having it done within, you know, a state. Some pipe, some people even do it like within like the same uh, city. Movie butter, movie uh, butter, buttered popcorn. Yes, that absolutely is there. Mixed that's absolutely, with yes, that's there. Mixed with kettle corn. Oh, from the, the fair. kettle corn movie butter popcorn. A look combo. At, look at you there with the words. Right? The, they're all military. They support the military. Like yeah. proceeds go to the military. That is that is like a buttery, rounded. Ooh. And we that is a note that we've had before, but it's infrequent, right? That that movie popcorn butter, kind of the sweet, the kettle corn. I can't think of a better note than that. Right? Yeah. It's dominant. I mean, it's dominant. This can't be that old because all of those super candied sweet notes are just completely in charge. And then I know it's a bourbon, but I'm getting like some maltiness. There's a yeah. malty kind of vibe to the presentation of like the sweet elements in here. I'm not seeing anywhere an age statement on this. Imagine, put your nose in there and imagine the cross between kettle corn and a malty sweetness. Yeah. It tastes like that. It's very drinkable. Very I soft. I can see why you like it, because it's very like sweet and salty at the same time. And soft. Yeah. It's very easy sipping. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a What's the proof? It's got to be... Hello. Oh, this is all the way up to 45. I mm. would have guessed this is going to be close to 40, because mm -hmm. it's just so 
um, easy. I don't want to say light because yeah. the flavors are present. Yeah. But it's just a simple, easy sipper, and the flavors that are there. I like because it doesn't go crazy with this big elaborate journey and unfolding flavors, flavors, flavors. But the flavors that are there, they're not um, super, super common. Yeah. They're like pretty unique. And I've had them in other whiskeys and I like them, but I haven't had them very often. I get why you would like it. It's not totally my cup of tea because it's so sweet. Um, like for me, when I'm eating kettle corn, I can eat a couple of handfuls yeah. and then I'm kind of over it. Whereas I could eat like buttered popcorn by the bucket full. Right. Yeah. If, if you like, it, it doesn't get like crazy, crazy sweet, no. but the kettle corn note is going to be like the biggest note. And if that's the level of sweetness that you like, then that could be a really nice whiskey for you. Okay, we got two bottles here, both from Eric Griggs, and Magnificent Bastard. Really quick though. Uh, if 45% was that soft, I want to see like what a 50 or 55% does to that. Yeah. I think it'd be even sweeter, but I also think it there's those, be, yeah. those buttery rich flavors have a lot more to give it a higher proof there. You said... Eric Griggs, you magnificent bastard. So what's funny is, and I'm gonna pour these in order, left, right, left, right. Okay. Right. So um, you're gonna start with the single malt, and then we're gonna do the five grain. Yeah. So the owner of this distillery, uh, Scott Bush, mm -hmm. emailed me. Would love for you guys to do a featured review of one of my whiskeys. And so I messaged him back, and he told us which one he wanted and everything. Yeah. And I messaged back, and I was like, hey, we don't really do that. And so, <laughs> sorry. You know, I, and, uh, and then I was like, I recognize that name, Foundry. Okay. And I turned around, and there were these two bottles on the shelf behind my desk. Somebody already. Sent by a magnificent bastard. Somewhere. So I emailed Scott back. I was like, hey, just so you know, we don't really do that thing you asked for, but somebody already sent us your whiskey, so it's going to get reviewed here soon anyway. Okay. Um, you ready what I'm going to throw at you for the first one? Mm-hmm. Ozarks, molasses, and peanut brittle. Whoa! Ozarks? Yeah. Like the Ozark... Like musty, humid, yeah. dense woods and creek beds. Then molasses. Molasses. The dark sweetness and oh. then the peanut brittle. Yeah. And then you're not liking that. Oh, no. No, I'm, I'm really not. I'm liking it. It, that nose is throwing me for a loop. No, this is this is very, very uh, unique and different than most whiskey flavors I've ever had yes, before. Yes, I totally agree. Yeah. It is absolutely unique. This is Funky Adventure. I'm trying to dial in that sweetness a little bit more. If, like, if you had poured that for me as part of a shenanigan, I would have bought it. That it was a shenanigan. <laughs> what? Dude. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, you very much appreciate my shenanigans. Because <laughs> I've done like... Doritos. Oh no, those were not. That was that was wrong. That's not Tabasco like Slim Jims. I'm just saying, like this, it feels so dramatically weird in the nose. Yeah. I'm not finding stereotypical flavors of anything from malt. Exactly. Yeah, that's. I that's, would never have pinpointed this as like an American malt. Okay. Do, or are they doing anything unique or weird on the back here? Classic style, they said. This that, is okay, not who knows classic. what that means. Yeah, this I is mean, not, it's 100 barley. Okay, this is not classic distilled in their custom... Six months old. Custom made still. Yeah. Uh, that, you know what? That's what it is. Yeah. It's got to be... Slightly smoky. That's the Ozark element I was it's getting. It's got to be the, the Favor, cuts. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That you, whatever that still setup is, ah, oh, man, the, the unique custom uh, thing that they did, it's showing up on the flavor for me. But uh, the, the, the unique bit, I think, is going to be what I say is like... When I say Ozarks, mm -hmm. I'm going back to my childhood memories of Silver Dollar City. And they have all of these like um, booze of people doing like blacksmithing. And then they got like the old um, bonfires and people, people doing like smoked turkey legs. And you're just out in the woods and there's that smoked um, Ozark wood. Mm. Whatever that is. All right. Taste it. Did you taste it? It tastes like a vanilla cream hard candy. And I'm getting... Ooh. Ooh. I like, I really like how weird that is. I have never tasted anything like that. Yeah. And I don't like it. I like, it's a, but Rex it is, likes it. It's like, um, what's it called? It's like a caramel and then, no, oh, maybe a vanilla. It's like a marshmallow. Yeah. And then you, what's it called? Caramelization. You yeah. burn it. It's like a car caramelized Werther's original marshmallow. But it's marshmallow. not totally burnt. It's like browned. Yeah. So it's a little crunchy. It's the caramelization. Yeah. Yeah. So it's only six months old, and I have a feeling that that's why like well, all those flavors might have subdued over time. It's super, super clingy. The finish is still going. Yeah, it is. It lingers. That's why I got some water. 
Wow. Uh, so this guy evidently founded Templeton Rye. Okay. And then sold it in 2016. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Templeton Rye, who became like the byword for sourcing but not telling anyone. Uh, yeah. um, but these guys are not sourcing. Yeah. And their website says, we understand the importance of transparency. <laughs> and we're like, I'll bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> you learned that lesson the hard way. <laughs> All right. I'm okay. going to move to the five grain, Thought which is... This is less weird. This is going to be a little bit closer to what you're expecting. Corn, barley, wheat, rye, still and, oat. Unique, and oat. It's totally it's unique, unique again, but a different way. Yes, but not as immediately aggressively different and, and, uh, and strange as this first one. Dude, I'm going to say something. Dan, bleep this for a second. A long bleep. Because it feels like I'm being unfair. Don't bleep it. Uh, That's pretty unfair. Right? No. Smell it. Like the the that are to mixed with the phenolic notes. You're getting a. I'm not saying like I, you may you and I may have had different experiences. I can say, I can say king and then cleaning products. Cleaning products. But I'm not like I can think. I think like a hot on the. No, no. no I mean like, like a cleaned because so, of all the products so, so, and the. The little they're so fake. it's and then there's cleaning products like your because mm -hmm. I'm getting like the things. yeah I can see that, that. Is bizarre you and five been. gallon barrels apparently Dan figured out a way to come back sometime I don't know how <laughs> oh no hey Dan here's an impossible editing note have fun yeah <laughs> sorry man I can't do it. I don't like Look, the finish. This is not bad. I don't like the finish on this one. It's just so dramatically what it is. It's weird. And so outside of my preferences, Great. I'll never be able to come back to that. It's but I could see how somebody so, go ahead. with their own preferences right. could be like, I've found my unicorn. Yeah, no, this is a unicorn. Because <laughs> they are both unicorns. Uh, the second one, I'm not liking as much. Yeah. Um, it feels kind of like um, flat. The flavors are there. They're mm -hmm. rude, funky flavors. They're camping flavors. I'm in an RB and an RV. There's some mm -hmm. cleaning materials going on. Um, but the first one, it's even more strange. But I think I just have some you know, positive associations from like the Ozarks and that sm smoke yeah. that's in the air, the Silver Dollar City, and then like this caramelized, like almost burnt candy. Yeah, I can see that. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I like I like the first one we tried better. Yeah, where's the rhyme again? Oh, I, I have my stash here. Yeah, I set it, mine over there. They're called strategic reserves. Oh, that's not the rhyme again. What was the first thing we did? Ah, oh, this is my own drink. Oh, here's the body stealing a drink. If you fight me, fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if, hang on, <laughs> I just went back to something I like. And these two whiskeys ruined it. You little whiny. Taste that. Which one? After drink, taste anything after having just drank those two. Those are so oily, they're lingering so long, they just colored no, everything. I'll tell you what, this is what you do. You go back to the Corsair Dark Rye. Yeah. The pot still is so rich, it's so present, it's not getting overwhelmed by anything. Sorry for the false outro. I just, just got annoyed. And if you drink, may you drink with us. us.